life is so precious. Hawks! Because everything has an expiration date. Every pony you love will be gone one day. You will be gone one day. And you don't know when. Whoa, what are you doing? All of those idiotic ideals that horses have to give themselves more meaning, they're all meaningless. What you've achieved, what you've succeeded at, none of it will matter when your time comes. None of it gives you more time. Time is what matters. None of this is possible without time. This idea, this foundation. We need time to build it. Time to execute it. Breaking news tonight as we look at the disappearance of the third fold this week. Astrid Dominic Manson, Cook, Guy Trotson. Rusty Sadel. And yet your group of rogues keeps trying to destroy everything we've worked to build. But why wouldn't you? A group of horses born from the bloodlines that poison our society with impurities? The exact bloodlines the king is working to exterminate. You'll never get away with this, Alton. My family, my friends, they're out there looking for me. And you won't be able to stop them. A group of foals pretending to be horses they'd never be brave enough to be in real life. Your friends hide behind a book to live a fantasy life, gallivanting on quests they wouldn't make it two steps into. I applaud your efforts. But I'm done playing. <laughs> Not so tough without Nyx being here to keep you safe, huh? I'm not allowed to lay a hoof on you until the king has... Uh, well, what he needs from you. My friends will find me! The oh. Your friends will find you. But it won't be how you're imagining it. you sweetheart but you said that you needed to get to school early this morning and you weren't awake yet <gasps> oh no i slept through my alarm clocks i'll need to walk you to school and pick you up today okay milo and shadow are more than welcome to come over but there's a strict curfew going in place uh-huh sounds great a few more foals went missing so prime minister asher and the police department thought the curfew would help keep every pony safe <laughs> how thoughtful of them all right come on i'm gonna be late Did you get your phone back? No. I have no idea where Tilly is. She said that she'd be here at 8 and now it's 8.55. Maybe she's just running behind because her parents wanted to walk with her or something this morning. My dad walked us to school. My mom walked me here today too. We should just be able to go in and tell Mr. Stifle that we're just grabbing your phone that Tilly was fixing for us. I'm sure she told him that we're stopping by. I guess it's worth a shot. Hi there, I'm just grabbing my phone. My friend Tilly was running some diagnostics on it. Uh, okay. Did it fall? You didn't 
happen to see a phone laying by Tilly's computer this morning when you came in, did you? I haven't seen any phones in here this morning, I'm sorry. I'll be on the lookout though. Alright, thank you. Something weird is going on. My phone's missing and Tilly isn't even here yet. Good morning, kiddos! I hope everyone had a chance to finish up their Horses of History project because we will be presenting those next class. So if you haven't finished them, tonight is the night to finish them! The history project, what? Hmm. But for today's lesson, y'all will be pairing yourselves up to work on a Horses of Eden worksheet. The first pair to finish with all correct answers will be given five extra points on their Horses of History project, which could be the difference in an entire letter grade for some of you. So be sure to take this seriously. Once you have your partner, come grab a worksheet. Shadow, I'll be your partner. Oh, okay. I guess that makes it easy. Guess we're partners then, Janora. Alright, question number one. Custade, Zesper, and who else were the main horses of Eden? <laughs> wow, Mr. Fett is literally mine on. What section of Sika did Zaspar found? Masha. Obviously. Any pony would know that. Do you want to help answer a few? Shadow, we really need to talk. <clears throat> About what? You know what I'm referring to. I'm not discussing that here with you. Then come over to my house tonight so we can. I can't. With the new curfew, I don't even want to know the punishment I would have to face because my mom only gave me permission to go to Janora's. Then just give Janora your phone so if your mom tracks it, she'll think that you're with them. It's not like Janora has a phone right now anyway. Can't we just save this for tomorrow? This is not something that can just wait, Shadow. We need to discuss this now. How exactly do you propose we do that? I'm great at getting my way. Oh my gosh, I just, I feel so lightheaded. Great. What, what happened? Turtle, are you alright? I'm, I'm not sure, I, whoa, Turtle. Shadow, could you please take it to the nest? Yes, sir. Come on, Turtle, let's go. That was weird. I've wiped the phone, but Janora and Milo are going to be on to this. They're smart. You know they are. Just casually finding the phone? Shadow, this isn't gonna work. I'll make sure they don't find out. Where's Tilly? Did you see her this morning? I don't think you understand how far down this rabbit hole goes. Is she okay? Turtle, is Tilly okay? You knew what you were signing up for when you asked for me to help. I told you. Jesus, Turtle, you didn't say this was going to happen. What exactly did you expect? <gasps> you asked me to help, I'm helping. The phone's been wiped. What happened to Tilly's out of my control? You know that. Shadow, where they're going? You can't save them. This, this is all to save you, Janora, and Milo. You can't have both options. Not with the deal you've made. You said it yourself that me, Janora, and Milo are like no fools you've ever seen. That means nothing when you're up against a whore. I hope neither of you are skipping class. We were on our way back. This conversation never happened. Feeling better, Turtle? Oh yeah, the nurse said my blood sugar was a little low. I didn't have a chance to eat breakfast this morning, but it won't happen again. Thanks for the concern. Don't thank me, thanks Shadow for making sure that you got there safely. Thanks Shadow. Anytime. Don't forget we're presenting next class, so please come prepared.
What happened with Turtle? Something about skipping breakfast or something, I know. Hey, do you guys think Tilly's shown up yet? It wouldn't hurt to go check, come on. Hey, Shadow, you coming, Captain Hothead? Oh, <laughs> yeah, right behind you. I think we could swing back and see what Hawks knows about the holding camps on the east side of Kevlin closer to the castle. And we also need to figure out what to do with Kenzo... Uh... Janora, did you do this? What? No? What is that? It looks almost well. Oh my god, the tavern's on fire! What? Hawks! We need to save Hawks! Alton and a group of Kevlin knights busted into the tavern after hours and... Oh no. Alton tried to kill Hawks. Why? This doesn't even seem like it's part of the storyline. What would Alton want with Hawks? Who cares? I gotta save my bestie for the restie. I'll help Polaris put out the fire, Rourke. You and Kenzo need to figure out how to save Hawks. We saved your life! Apparently Kenzo knows healing magic, which was very convenient. And Rourke was the one who had the idea to advertise that the cloaked lion was open again so we could get some customers in here for you. How long were you out? Five days. But don't worry, Opal helped us get everything under control. Three, you, you, you need to leave right now. You're not safe here. Whoa, slow down, Hawks. It's okay. We've got friends who'll keep an eye on you in the tavern while we're away from now. What? No! You three aren't safe! Alton! The King! They know! They know who you are! Obviously they know who we are, Hawks. We've been the driving force for the rebellion against them. We're much safer here than out gallivanting. Yeah, Hawks, I think you might just need some more rest. No! Listen to me! They know who you are. Who you really are. They know your fools playing their game. What are you talking about? There's somewhere you three need to go. The Garden of Venusa. Bring the Onyx Shield with you. Place it on Zaspar's pedestal. Hawks, you know better than any pony the artifact ritual isn't gonna work unless we have all three. Stop interrupting me! Take the shield there and pray to the Horses of Eden that this works for your sake. Mind giving us a little more insight on what exactly this will do? There's no time. Exit out the back. Don't come back until you've done exactly what I said. Go! Before it's too late! Hawks, if you three want to stand a chance against the king, you have to do this.
We're nowhere near being at the end of this adventure storyline. Why is Hawk sending us to the Garden of Venusa? He knows something that we don't. He said they know we're fools playing their game. It was probably just some insult toward us. But, Mila, we need to get the shield and get to the garden. Stop getting hung up on- It's, it's Tilly. What's Tilly? She's missing. This can't be a coincidence. <laughs> Care to elaborate on that one? Tilly is the fifth foal to have gone missing after decades of this list being dormant. Uh, why now? Why our generation? Half of those other foals weren't even on the list, Milo. Tilly's name was never on it. Our names are on that stupid list and we're fine. That stupid list? How do you go from being obsessed about it one day to being so nonchalant not caring the next shadow? You've been acting really weird lately. What? All I'm trying to say is that there isn't a connection between any of these foals. Yes, there is. They all play castles and cobs. <laughs> and? We need to stop playing. What? Do you understand how crazy y'all sound right now? It's a strategy game, not some voodoo magic. Horses have played castles and cobs for years and this has never been an issue, but suddenly a few foals who happen to play the most popular game in Sika go missing and you want to just toss all your eggs in the let's ruin the only joy we have left basket. Give me a break. I'm not blaming the game, Shadow, but what if there's something happening through the game? Sam was always gung-ho on going on actual adventures. They found his backpack by the creek. What if he found something he wasn't supposed to? Sam's smarter than that. You know that. What if the Kevlin King really is still alive? What if he's using this game to lure foals to certain locations? Tilly wasn't exactly a hardcore CNCer like the rest of us, so how do you explain that one? You can't. She's the biggest outlier in this whole situation. Can we just get back to the game? We need to figure out why we're having to go to the Garden of Venusa. Why does your phone keep going off? I have no idea. It's probably my mom. Turn on the news. Tilly Brownlin is the fifth foal to go missing in Sika tonight. The curfew authorities put in place earlier this week is now being pushed forward to 7 p.m. for all foals as the investigation grows. A city hall meeting will be held tomorrow night with Prime Minister Asher to address the situation at Hoof. After school events and sports are being canceled for the time being as foals are being encouraged to stay indoors. More information to come. Whoever that phone call was from, they took Tilly and they have Sam. They probably have the other foals too. Who could do this? Why did we even listen to you, Shadow? Huh? We should have just taken the phone to the authorities. None of this would have happened if we did. Tilly would still be here if we did. What? Why are you blaming me? I was just doing what I thought was best for the three of us. I am not at fault for Tilly disappearing. Sorry to interrupt, but Milo, your mom is here to walk you and Shadow home for the night. Oh, I, I thought she said we could hang out until 9. I know, but with the new curfew, it's best for you Colts to get home before dinner. You can come tomorrow and hang out all weekend. Alright. See ya, Janora. Bye, guys. I'll have dinner ready in 30 minutes, sweetheart. All right, thank you. I I just need to work on some homework before I can join y'all downstairs. Wait, the school cameras. Go who 
way, Braxton. Open the door before I call Beatrice. Now, Colt! I'm removing your door from your room. Don't ever. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'll call the cops on you for breaking curfew. Shut up! Thank you, turtle. I hey, don't mention it. I'm sorry your stepdad is, you know, again. I, I won't tell any pony. I know you won't. I you never have. I'm so sorry I completely interrupted your night. My night? I was just reading and having some cocoa, so you didn't interrupt anything. I'll get you some. I'm assuming your dad's at work? He is most nights, but that's why he doesn't mind if I have parties as long as I keep everyone out of his room and his office. So much for you not being able to come over tonight. <laughs> <clears throat> so what made him want to keep that out in the open? He normally keeps it stored if I'm having a group of friends over so no pony gets hurt, but it's a part of our family history. He crafted it, you know? Is everything all right? He didn't follow you, did he? No. I don't think Braxton can even trot, so following me all the way here would be way more effort than he would ever exert. I was just... thinking, I guess. Shadow, I... another suit ruined. I should really change before I... <clears throat> Prime Minister Asher, are you all right? Oh yes, I'm fine. None of this is even my... Hmm. Mm. <clears throat> Pardon me for interrupting, I just need to go get cleaned up. You are gonna say something before your dad walked in? I was just gonna say, if you're interested, I could have Sheriff Ollie investigate your stepdad for you. I mean, he does anything I ask. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> I mean, that would be amazing, but it's, it's a little more complicated than that. He's just, I mean, I, I just, just think about it. Yeah. Oh well. Does Sheriff Ollie know about? My apologies about that. Thank you for keeping Turtle company while I was away tonight, Shadow. Oh, you're welcome, sir. Daddy, would it be okay if Shadow spent the night tonight? Of course, sweetheart. I'll be up late preparing for the city hall meeting tomorrow, but I'll just be in my office, so come grab me if you need anything. You said that we would watch the new episode of The Pasture tonight, though. I know, love. I'm so sorry that work keeps getting in the way of that. You know how busy my day was with I promise we'll watch it together tomorrow evening. If either of you are hungry, please order anything you want to eat. My wallet's on the counter for you, princess. It's alright. It's just one night, so we can find something else fun to do. Like, play our own game of castles and cobs? You used to love playing at Janora's house with us. I don't have any of the game pieces anymore. Would you be opposed to just talking? <laughs> Me? Opposed to talking. <laughs> she was beautiful. I love hearing the stories my dad tells me of her. He really loved her. I want to experience a love like that one day. Even after everything they went through. You can't have love without loss. I don't think I'd be willing to open up like that. Not after watching my mom lose my dad. Didn't it destroy your dad after... I'm, I'm so sorry, I, I didn't, I... Maybe we should find something else to talk about. Good idea.